Hello, all my beautiful sisters from those other misters. Welcome back to my channel. It is time for empties. Based on the thumbnail, you probably know that I have two boxes here. Because I haven't done an empties in so long. And every month, I don't even know when the last time I did one was. And every month I'm like, I don't have enough for an empties. It's pointless. Don't bother filming. And apparently I was very, very wrong. All right, let's start. I'm just doing whatever. Function of Beauty. This is their hair mask and I love it. I love it. So Function of Beauty is a sponsor over on uh, the Beauty News podcast and videos and their hair mask is really nice. I love it. My hair responds really well to it. This one had the eucalyptus scent, oh, which I love. Um, it just made like washing my hair feel like a really clean refreshing experience the hair mask put so so much moisture into my hair which was fantastic i was really sad when this was getting like low but i do have another one it's just in a different scent so you know i got it i got it kicking around and i'm not mad about it let's do more hair stuff apparently Davines. This is the Your Hair Assistant Prep Rich Balm and the Your Hair Assistant Prep Shampoo. Um, the shampoo is nice. This line has been discontinued from Davines. Um, the shampoo is nice. It's just like their like everyday type of shampoo. Um, and in the past, I have finished up the like standard prep balm. This is the rich one. The rich one was my preferred type. I felt like it gave my hair the nourishment that it needed, um, whereas the normal one wasn't quite hitting the mark with how much I needed. Um, anyway, these are nice, but they have been discontinued. Madeline gave me a whole bunch of uh, new Davines, like minis to try out their new ranges. And I'm slowly making my way through them, making my way downtown. I hate that song and I just, I could feel it coming as soon as I said making my way through them. I was, oh, okay. Anyway, moving on. Um, I've got vitamins. <laughs> We're going into vitamins. Okay. These are the JS Health Hair and Energy uh, Vegetarian Heart Capsules. So these are a hair and energy vitamin um does it say what they're supposed to do so it contains iodine and zinc iodine helps to restore hair strength and volume and zinc helps to maintain normal healthy hair um iodine essential for the manufacture of thyroid hormones regulate the body yeah yeah whatever um something about energy production throughout the body okay very good um i actually liked these i don't like energy no sorry i was taking these um through june and july and i went through a bit of a hard time um sleep related uh i just couldn't sleep and it started to really like affect my life my mental health the way i was like feeling just everything um and i saw no energy improvement <laughs> my energy was non-existent what i did see was a marked improvement of the growth of my nails i don't know about my hair but my nails were like shooting out the growth and now that i've finished taking these i'm not seeing that growth <laughs> so that's that's what i saw while i was taking these like a lot of nail growth um can't comment on the hair though because i have extensions so i can't tell when my hair is doing anything uh would i buy these again look yeah maybe maybe i i'd probably just be more inclined to uh, buy biotin which is what i'm doing anyway um or what i'm taking at the moment um so yeah i don't know maybe maybe i wouldn't like rule out the brand. I'm pretty sure this brand is st sold at Priceline, so there's a good chance like they would go on sale at times and then I might might be convinced to 
try some out or buy those ones again especially if I was trying to amp up the growth of my nails which to be honest I, I kind of want to do that so anyway moving on lush look at this I finished a lush product this is the snow fairy body conditioner this I can only use this on my legs and my arms if I put it on my torso, it breaks me out. Um, so I tend to not really reach for it. I have to sort of force myself to use it or like really remind myself like you've got to use that. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I don't really like the way it leaves my skin feeling after I've like rinsed it off. <sighs> So yeah, I'm not not really a fan. I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it again. Um, Kiehl's. This is the Ultra Facial Cream. This was in my Project Pan. Uh, I finished this one up. Mm -hmm. I really like this. I have another one in my stash, and uh, I will I will use it definitely. If you have really dry skin, I would recommend maybe even seeing if you can get like a little sample or buy a small pot of it it's very 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 nourishing so if you have oily skin you might not be that into it um but then again you might because when i had oily skin i still loved a really good moisturizing night cream um i used to wear that day and night because my skin was dry as fuck uh drunk elephant Camille Cream Body Cleanser. I don't mind this product as a body cleanser. It works. It is, uh, I'd say, low foam, but still effective. But the smell, my God, that stinks. <laughs> smells like marzipan. I don't like it. I'm not into it. And you know what upsets me, especially about this product? Every time I would pick it up, I would see, I would see that it says passion fruit oil an amino acid blend and I would just think could you just imagine if this smelled like fresh passion fruit pulp yum 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 and then you put it on you're like ugh, marzipan man <laughs> I am... some of the stuff that's in this tub I'm like fuck I can't believe I finished that well done me I, I've actually finished a whole lot more than I, I realized. Um, Roskin, this is the Intensive Moisture Hand Cream Skin Boost. I cut this open and scraped it out. I love this stuff. It is so good. I will use this on my hands and my feet. It is super, super, super moisturizing. I have dyshydrotic eczema, which I get on my feet. That shit is a nightmare. But this works really, really well with it. When you have dyshydrotic eczema, you have to moisturize your skin because if you don't, it can get really like dry and flaky and it can crack and it's itchy and it's like bad. Uh, but if you moisturize it too much, it goes the other way and it turns into blisters and it's so itchy. It's like the painful itch. It's so bad. Um, so there's always this like, really like <laughs> really risky balancing act that you have to take um and i found with this stuff there is no balancing act i just moisturize and i'm i'm okay it doesn't get rid of the the eczema but it doesn't make it worse it makes it easier to manage so i really like that and uh i should probably pick some up i might have another tube back in this drawer over here. Uh, Glyco. This is a peptide cleansing gel. I really like this. Look, I found this at the back of my cupboard. There was not much left in it. Um, and I was like, fuck it, I'm finishing that. I really like this stuff. It is very, very gentle on the skin, but it cleanses well. And that's the kind of thing that I need these days. My, my skin never recovered from um, isotretinoin, which is, you know, it's a shame. I mean, it, it recovered from the acne, but it's never recovered from the medication. It's still, a year on, it's still, you know, giving me a, a bit of a hard time. But it's fine. I just, you need to be able to manage it. A cleanser like this does help, which I like. Um, I would definitely buy that again. Very nice product. Uh, Kester Black. This is a nail polish thinner. 
Listen, I bought this a hundred years ago at like a trade show. I don't know if Kester Black make this anymore, but it is basically a nail polish thinner. Um, so it's not like nail polish remover. It's designed to specifically thin out nail polishes that have thickened up. Um, I liked it. It works. It's good. I don't know if they make it anymore though. Um, now when I buy it, I actually just buy Seash Restore and I buy it when I go to like the place where I buy my nail stuff, like the trade store that I go to. Um, and I buy like a big bottle of it and I buy heaps of cotton pads and this and that. And you know, I do the bulk purchasing. Um, but if Kester Black still sell this, I would buy it again because it was good. I liked it. it lasts me ages. And super, super effective. It really works. Uh, Daiso Puff and Sponge. I wonder if I've got any more of these kicking around. Uh, this is my, like, sponge and brush cleanser. I like this. It is one of my favourites. And I have, like, three bottles open at the moment in my bathroom. I, I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Um, I have a whole host of these as backups as well. Hand Chemistry hand hydrator with hyaluronic acid and butters of mango and inca inchi there we go so i cut this one open because the packaging was very like very difficult to get all of the product out of tubes as you can probably tell with the cutting open of the tubes recently um and because this <laughs> is clear you could actually see like how much product was left in it and it annoyed me um i didn't like this i actually didn't think it really hydrated my hands at all initially when i would put it on it felt like it was doing something but within about half an hour my hands felt dry again so i wouldn't buy this again because i didn't actually think it was very effective flabwa mint bombs so i've talked about these before they're little single use hair masks like deep conditioning hair masks um i actually have three here three little tubes or tubs pods bombs <laughs> mint bombs um i really like these i basically you know every now and then i go into my um bathroom cabinet where i keep my hair stuff and i just pull out like some stuff to use uh, so I grabbed a couple of these and they're nice and I will continue using them I've still got quite a few left and uh, yeah they're, they're nice I get mine from yes style if you find the milk version of them so there's mint bombs and there's milk bombs if you find the milk version I would highly recommend those uh, I prefer the scent the mint bombs don't smell like mint at all unfortunately which is upsetting if you ask me because why else would you buy them uh, but the milk bombs they I really like the scent of them they remind me of like something from my childhood which I can't put my finger on um, it also reminds me of the David Jones milk and honey like body moisturizer and body wash and again that's like there's something around that scent that is it it must be something that happened or it's like a scent memory from when I'm so young that I can't actually like recall what, like who I was smelling it on or where. It must have been mum um, or maybe my nan. I, I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, there, this scent is just like something about it makes me feel so much comfort it's it's really interesting to me uh so i i love that scent whenever i find something with that scent i it it's an instant favorite for me uh okay moving on <laughs> these guys i've got little sachet samples here so i have the dd conditioner from davines this is like their daily like it basically replaces this line um this is not nourishing enough for me it's I feel like I would have to use heaps of it to get the results that I need. But the shampoo, I quite like. The shampoo I have in like a mini bottle, so I'm still I'm still using that. Um, but the conditioner, not it's not one that I would buy for myself because I don't think it's um, it's not enough for me. I have the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. I don't even remember using this, but I. 
I vaguely feel like I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea, guys. Um, I've got the Waterbank Essence, Waterbank Moisture Essence from Laneige. I have the Biolumin C Brightening Vitamin C Serum, and I have the Cotia Brightening Eye Cream. I'm wondering if these were things that I took to Sydney when I went to the wedding. Oh, it feels like a hundred years ago. I'm not even kidding. No idea. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. Look, I. I've used bottles and bottles and bottles of this in the past. Big bottles, big bottles. I love this stuff. I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's a little bit expensive, um, but I would say, you know, if it's not really within your budget, wait until Priceline have like a 50% off skincare sale and then pick it up. It is very, very nice and I think it's worth it. Um, I have a gel polish. How, how good's this? Um, I also have stickiness on me. Yuck! Uh, this is a top coat, top coat from Ostar. It's just a like clear uh, gel polish top coat. Um, I always have gel nails, basically. So there's that. Uh, face wash. This is the simple kind of skin refreshing facial wash gel. I also just realized I didn't tell you if I would repurchase this or not. I wouldn't because I'm not even sure if Ostar still make nail polishes or gel polishes. Um, I would most likely just go to my like nail trade store and buy something there so it would be like OPI or something like that in terms of top coats but I am good for top coats at the moment. I got quite a few kicking around. Anyway, uh, simple kind to skin refreshing facial wash gel. I mean, it's effective, it washes your face, but hell no, I wouldn't buy it again. I need something that's not so simple these days. A little bit more complex, a little bit more active, a little bit more uh, 36 year old lady appropriate rather than 16 year old girl appropriate, which I think is what that is. Uh, Wet n Wild, this is the, oh, what was this one called? It was a single eyeshadow in brulee. Is it brulee? I think it's brulee. So it's like their like sort of skin tone single eyeshadow. I used it to set my primer um, and it lasted me quite a long time and I really liked it and I would totally buy it again. Um, I have a Ultra 3 Wonder Balm Lip Repair Mask. All done. I didn't mind this. It was fine. I wouldn't buy it again. I'd be more inclined to buy a different lip balm that I want to try, but <laughs> Hayley doesn't need more lip balms. She has literally half a drawer of them back there. I'm not even joking. It's bad. Uh, this is the Tarte, oh god, I don't know, Lip Rescue Quench. Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Nude. I loved this. I loved it so much. I got it in like a Christmas pack a hundred years ago and yes, I <laughs> I know, judge me, judge me. I'm judging myself. Um, I'd buy more of these. I loved it. The formula was beautiful. The colour was gorgeous. I really enjoyed that product. I want more of them. I don't need more of them. I got so many lip products. If they brought out a holiday pack with like just nude shades in it, and not like an annoying pink and an annoying red and all that dumb shit. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Um, but they won't do that. I know they won't. So it won't happen. So don't worry. Okay, box number two. Let's get into it. Uh, this is the Bior Baking Soda Cleansing Micellar Water. <laughs> okay, I used this as like my um, swatch removing makeup remover. Swatch micellar water. This stuff is... How did this ever get on the shelves? That is my legitimate question. It's not good. It's not effective. Fine for swatches. Good God, this would be horrible on your face if you were trying to use this. Like, I would scrub my swatches. It was like scrubbing swatches with a cotton pad and water. It's a micellar water, but it's not water. It should remove makeup. Also, it legitimately smells like dirt, like actual soil. So there's that. I'm sure you can tell that I would never buy that again. Um, 
Soul Shimmering Dry Oil. So this was in my project pan and basically I just pipette the um, oil out of it and I was putting it into a bottle that doesn't have the shimmer in it. Now the shimmer, oh gosh, it, it does settle if you like, goodbye lid, if you give it a good shake and then like let it settle when there's heaps of oil in there it all settles perfectly but because there's like basically no oil in there and it's all shimmer it won't do that now so there's that but I am going to clean out this bottle and keep it for other body moisturizers because like I said in my project pan I just really 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 love dispensing my moisturizer out of a pump Cheap masks. I go cheap masks. Let's do it. Um, so this is the Neogen ugh, Pink Cactus Knit Mask. I quite like these. These, they don't completely get rid of your lines, but they really help to soften like smile lines and fine lines and stuff. So you put it on, let it do its thing, take it off. And then after a few minutes, it feels like everything's tightening up. I quite like it. I think they're, they're good, good masks. Then I have the Melting Embo Gel Mask from Nisha. This literally fell apart in my fingertips and I couldn't use it. So there's that and I would not buy it again. Uh, the Neogen Mexican Aloe Essential Mask. This was just hydrating sheet mask. Nothing super exciting. Probably wouldn't buy it again. I'd be more inclined to like try a different mask that I haven't tried before. Uh, then I have the Angelica Ginseng uh, Herbal Essence Mask from uh, Sue, Sue Beauty. Um, again, I'd probably try just something new. Uh, the Secret Key Starting Treatment Essential Mask. These are good hydrating masks, so yeah, maybe. If I needed some relying hydrating masks, I would... Relying? Reliable. <laughs> Reliable. Uh, I would probably buy a packet of them. I wouldn't have a problem with that. And the Green Tea Milk One Pack from Apu. I don't remember this. Which tells me there was nothing special about it. Oh, this was fun. This was the Dr. Jart uh, Elastic Shot shaping, Shaking Rubber Mask. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so this was one that you like mix up in the the thing uh it was fun it was fun a little bit messy um and the packaging is very 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 bulky so if i was gonna buy one it would be like i'm i'm buying it and i'm using it tonight so it's not taking up space in my life um but i didn't mind it i don't know if it was really like super effective with anything moisturizing yes um but otherwise yeah. Oh, lashes. Okay, I've got some lashes here. So I have two pairs of the Ella lashes and I have Colourpop uh, Dame lashes. So I'm, these are the Dame lashes. I've got Gorgeous and Lovely from Ella Cosmetics. Uh, these would still be in my rotation of eyelashes, I would say. Usually what I do is cut them in half and use them. I'm not even wearing lashes today, so, you know, whatever, whatever. But that's fine. There's that. I will say... The Colourpop ones, I would, look, I actually really like the Colourpop ones. The hardest part for me is not being able to see them in real life before I buy them to be able to judge whether they are actually, like, going to be a good pair for me to buy because I like to cut them in half. The Ella ones, um, they are all too big for me and I'm only usually able to use a section of the lash. I have to, like, cut it and... Um, get rid of the rest of the lash. So I wouldn't buy the Ella ones again, but the Colourpop ones, I actually probably would. I like them. Um, okay, let's do more things. Oh look, I have another Glyco product. Oh, this stuff. I love this. This is a Daily Benefits moisturizer. Now I will say with my skin as dry as it is now, it's probably not, it's not enough for me. It's not. I have to pair it with like a hydrating serum and a light oil um, but I really like the formula of this it is I wonder if I can get some out no <laughs> no I really did use an all up didn't I 
<laughs> it was great though. Um, airless pump, fantastic. This has a really nice fresh scent to it, which I love. The formula is really light. Great if you've got oily skin. I'm just putting that out there. Um, and it's got vitamin E, hyaluronic acid and vitamin A in it, which is great. Loved it. Really enjoyed it. Pro like I said, probably not suitable for my skin as it is now. My skin is way too dry, unfortunately, but that moisturizer is beautiful. Um, I have a little like handful of things like this. So I've got the Kevin Aquan Spectrum Bronze Glass Glow Lip. I quite like these. They're a little bit sticky, um, but they they last well on the lips and they're a nice hydrator if you have dry lips. So look, tick of approval from me. I, I mentioned this in my lip project. I'm not sure if I would buy it again. If they did like a little holiday kit that had these minis in it, I would consider it, especially if all the colors were up my alley, basically. Um, I've got two benefit mini mascaras here. I've got Their Real and Bad Gal Bang. Bad Gal Bang, I quite like it. I like the effect that it gives my lashes, but I did find that I had issues with it, like transferring on my brow bone and under, like, my under eye. Um, Their Real, I do like, but I, I feel like their other mascaras that came later are kind of superior to it, basically. So I wouldn't... I don't think I would buy either of those again, unfortunately. Fresh Sugar Rose Tinted Lip Treatment. Um, I like this one. This is really beautiful. I enjoy the colour. I enjoy the formula. I would buy this again in the future for sure. Uh, Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Concealer. Uh, look, I don't mind it, but I don't love it. And I, I wouldn't buy it again. I would buy something new to try out basically now that i like i think i finished two of these in like the last two years so one this year one last year um i think and i don't mind it but yeah i i it's not a favorite i wouldn't repurchase it um longcom advanced genifique was this in my project pan i think it I think it was. Anyway, there wasn't much in there and I finished it up. I don't mind it. Everyone, oh, gone. Everyone, whenever I show this product, people are like, it's got alcohol in it. And I'm like, I know. Like, it, it is genuinely there for a reason. It's not trying to, like, kill you. It's a formula thing. It happens. Um, Giel's Blue Herbal Blemish Cleanser Treatment. Is this also in my project band? I can't remember. I don't even know. This is fine. It's fine. I do think it's a little bit drying for me, but that's probably, you know, you can probably tell that based on like the blemish clearing treatment thing. Um, I wouldn't buy it again, but hell, this bottle lasted me forever. You only need the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest amount to like get this huge foam, massive lather, big bubbles, basically. <laughs> Um, so yeah if you're into that then you might like this um but i wouldn't buy it again i just don't think my skin needs it uh and my last item guys my last item this is another little sample it is the orbe run through detangling primer i don't really remember what i thought about this i think i didn't hate it but i think i wouldn't buy it again I feel like if I was absolutely head over heels in love with it, I'd remember. I'd see it and I'd, I'd feel a, a pang of sadness and I would want another bottle of it. So that tells me I wouldn't repurchase it. Okay, guys, so that is it for my empties for like the last, I think it's been three months. Can you stop focusing on the plant? Can you not? <laughs> camera. <laughs> Hello, me, camera. <laughs> Thank you. Far out. All right, guys. <laughs> I'm going because the camera is distracted. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know how you guys are going with your empties. Um, I feel like mine looks really good, but keeping in mind that it's been months and months and months since I filmed an empty. So there's that. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.